Okay, now we're going to be discussing connecting your account to Clio. So for those of you who are using Clio for all of their case management features and you're using Prima to do your immigration uh, work, you're going to go to the administrator panel up here. Again, you must be logged in as the administrator on the account. Navigate over to integrations. Scroll down to Clio and let's click connect. You're going to start walking through the authentication process to sign into Clio. So let's click this. We've got our password there. Let's click there. As you log in, it's going to say, hey, do you want to allow access to all these things? Yes, allow access. Okay, now that we've connected your Clio account to Prima, what we can do is we come to the search box. And let's say that in your workflow, you're, you're building out the lead and then the contact in Clio, and maybe you've even created that first matter. What we're going to do is come to the search box. We're going to type the contact we're looking for. So we're going to use Leonard Sample in this example. And here you can see we've got Leonard Sample Hofstadter. He's a contact who exists in Clio. He's not in Prima yet. So we're going to click that. From here, you can see all the information that we're going to be able to bring in. We've got his name. We have an address. Okay, that's formatted correctly. We have uh, no biographic, but we do have a phone number for him. And he also has a matter. So we're going to import this case as well. So we'll just keep that box checked. Let's click Import. Now it's bringing all that information into Prima. And at the same time, it's building a connection between Prima and Clio for this case and this contact. So I can click this Go to Clio button, and it's going to open up my Clio account and bring me right to the contact for Leonard in Clio. And I can see that matter that we've created in Clio for him, which means I can go to this matter here, this case. We call them cases in Prima. We're going to click on that because we imported that. So here we go. It's imported from integration. And because this is an I-130 family petition, I want you know, by default, it doesn't, you know, Clio doesn't have checklists or flows or the forms to import. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit the case type here inside of Prima. And we can change that to the I-130 petition for alien relative or spouse. By, ch by changing that, it's going to update and give us those list of forms that we're going to need to complete this case. It's going to provide us with our checklist and give us these case flow items. Now... If we look over at tasks, we had this task assigned over in Clio, and uh, that exists here as well because we imported it. Now, these two tasks are linked. When you edit it in Prima, it'll update in Clio. When you edit it in Clio, it'll update in Prima. And that's the same for the basic contact information as well because there's that two-way synchronization. If I change w some of his basic contact information here, it will update that inside of Clio as well. So that's how easy it is to start bringing in your casework for immigration cases uh, from your contact information in Clio, bringing that into Prima and start starting to fill out all those forms and get those packages ready for filing.